Okay, everyone. In this video, I would like to share to all of you about how to tutorial how to make a wardrobe in the dressing room. Okay, uh, I have already prepared this floor and wall 3D object, which is around uh, three meter and five meter for the length. Uh, and then, and the first step we have to using line to make a basic shape of this wardrobe. Anyway, then you can position it on a U shape object and then you can uh, offset it inside around 600 millimeter right and you can get this uh, basic shape and after that you can um, complete the basic shape with, with this line like this and then you can just click this line and just erase it and after that you can um, push it up you can push it up uh, around maybe it's 40 millimeter then you can just make it group and after that you can uh, select a color and then you can just select the gray material in here and you can uh, assign to this basic plate basic plane anyway and after that you can just um, move and press control to duplicate it maybe you can duplicate it until around approximately 3000 millimeter or 3 meters and then you can uh, divide it into the three part or you can just use this rectangle to make a vertical shelf and then you can uh, push it up you can uh, push it up until right here and then you can make it group and just adjust the shelf and after that you have to move and press control it to the right side anyway approximately around 900 millimeter and after that you can make a You can make a rectangle again to make a shelf right here and then you have to push it to the back around 30 millimeter then you can make it group and just uh, assign the material also and then you can um, adjust it on the left side okay and then you can uh, and then you can adjust the this uh, top cabinet you can move and press control then you can set the value around 2100 millimeter only okay you can see it and after that you can make a line right here and then you can just position on it and then you can divide it maybe you can divide it into uh, the into the five part okay which is around 880 millimeter right and then you can use this rectangle position on it and then you can uh, just sign it and then you can just uh, scale to the to the top of a cabinet then you have to push it back around 30 millimeter then you have to make it group and just make it component and after that you have to make it component just create it and then you have to move and press control it and just x you can can and you can type x uh, four and press enter so it will be finished to end of position of the cabinet okay and then you can uh, make the duplicate of this model of this mod check out of, of this object you have to move and press control it and bring it to the left side as well okay. then you can see then you can see it and and after that you can um spare it this um vertical shelf you can push it to the background 30 millimeter and also the left side you can also position on the 30 millimeter right and then and after that you can um, make a shelf also you can make a shelf until uh, on the correct position and, th and then you have to 
push it to the front around 30 mm and then make it group and just uh, assign the material also anyway you can bring it to the left side and then you can uh, and then you can adjust this side on the right side anyway then you can move and press control it you can move and press control it then you can uh, push it until to the right side anyway. so you can get the upper level of the cabinet has been finished um, and after that you can uh, make a backdrop of the all of self right here with a line and just position it on uh, something like this and you can offset it inside around maybe around 20 millimeter then you can just complete this line and then you can okay you can see it it's complete and then you can uh, push it until this level and then you can make it group and after that um, you can make a different material with the synthetic surface and formica laminated light uh, so it will be make a different material of this uh, wardrobe and after that you can uh, maybe you can uh, make more self you can make more self anyway uh, you can copy this self to the another position as you want maybe you can position it on this area then you can uh, push it down anyway and then you can push it down until here okay and then you can uh, position it again on the left side again okay you can position it again right here and then you can um, position you can move it again like right here and you can move it with to the another uh, inline on above anyway and and this component also you can position on this area anyway okay uh, and then you can make uh, more cells you can make a drawer right here by using a rectangle and you you can using a rectangle and then just push it up um, with the height as you want maybe you can set the two uh, 750 millimeter and after that you can push it to the back around 30 millimeter okay and then uh, you can offset it inside around 20 millimeter and then you can just um, offset it to the back around 500 millimeter and then you can make it group and after that you can uh, make the dividing you can you can divide the height of this drawer maybe you can divide uh, no, no no I'm sorry you can divide it by through by rectangle and uh, just make it uh, thick around 20 millimeter and then you can make it component and then you can uh, move and press control it to the top and you can divide it into four slash and then press enter okay and after that you can make a you can make a drawer right here and then you can uh, push it up and you can push it uh, and then you can make it group and just position it on to the front for temporarily then you can offset it inside around 15 millimeter and you can offset it down until 150 millimeter then you can uh, move it to the back and move it to the back and okay then you can uh, set the drawer handle anyway right here you can set the drawer handle and then just move this line to the to the bottom right here 
so it will be a uh, draw render automatically then uh, you can adjust uh, the different material of this draw, uh, drawer handle and then you can uh, move it to the bottom position and you can move it to the upper position but uh, in this middle of the vertical position you have to adjust it again with the select and move and you can adjust it again right here so it will be a uh, great cabinet anyway anyway and and you can also add uh, positioning it to the another cabinet then you and then you can make a circle you can make a circle to make a hanging cabinet to make a hanging cloth anyway then you can use a dark you can use a dark color you can use a dark color to assign to the hanger material and also you can uh, you can make a cloth hanger in anywhere you want anyway then you have to make it group and just make it uh, you can adjust it again and you can uh, position into the in this position anyway for example you can uh, adjust it to the to this position and then you can uh, make it more more correct position anyway so you can see about the so you can see about the difference or distinction then before okay then you can uh, using this you can use this stick and just move and just press control to duplicate it and just uh, rotate it until 90 degree rotation anyway. okay and then you can uh, move it to the appropriate position you can move it to the appropriate position anyway And then you have to uh, position on it, okay. And you can adjust the connection between the cloth hanger and another shelf, anyway. So you can uh, move it to the bottom to make uh, another hanger, anyway. And also on the right side, you can move it again, or maybe you can add more drawer to another position by select this drawer and make it group and just um, position on the another shelf anyway you can position on it you can adjust it anyway then you can uh, maybe you can using scale for a basic modeling okay and then you can uh, duplicate it to another position and then you can using scale again it's just for basic not for a uh, technical drawing anyway then you can uh, duplicate it on the on the another position and just flip it long on the red axis and just move it to the correct position and after that you can um, adjust the floor as beautiful as possible okay i think it's enough uh, i hope you learned a lot from this video uh, this is just a basic uh, method to make a dressing room with the cabinet uh, i hope you will improve it more by exercise yourself on um, some complex model or more and then uh, don't forget to watch my next video thank you